to the interactive session on Pariksha Pay Charcha. This is the sixth edition of Pariksha Pay Charcha by the Honorable Prime Minister Mr. Narendra Modi, which will be held on 27 Jan 2023. So just mark the date, 2023, 27 Jan. Well, dear students, let me tell you one thing, what is it all about? It is a platform. This Pariksha Pay Charcha is a platform where our Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi ji, he directly addresses the students of both who are going to appear for the board exams of the entire nation. We all deal with exam phobia. Exam phobia is all about your exam exam fear. So, Mr. Narendra Modi ji, he talks about all the fears, he talks about all the solutions, he talks about all the ways, the methods, you know. And he has written a book also which is known as Exam Warriors. And in that book he has propounded 25 mantras. There are 25 mantras and of course you can have your own mantra also if you want. If you have any mantra which is an innovative mantra and if it is yours you can of course go with that. So then he has propounded 25 mantras which will surely help you out. Those mantras are about the time management, those mantras are about how to have the positive approach towards your exams. Let me tell you one thing. What is positive approach? Positive approach is all about from can't to can, from will not to yes, I will. Suppose if you have this idea in your mind or if this thinking in your mind that, oh no, I cannot pass this exam. So you not. But in case if you change it into positive affirmation, of course I will definitely pass this exam, you will. So from can to can, for will not to yes I will. This is your positive approach. Moreover, in Pariksha Pichancha, which is a helpline I must say, it is a, it is a direct interest which you know, all the exam, you know, the students of the board exams which are going to appear for the board exam, it is addressed to them. Again, the second most important thing is about concentration. Most of the students, they come to the teachers also, even the parents, they also complain that, ma'am, my child is not focusing, my child is not concentrating. It is all about the distractions. So just stay away from the distractions. Over, have confidence inside your examination hall as well as when you are inside as well as when you are outside also. So the confidence should be there. It is like an attire. Confidence is like an attire. So wear it. You know, just clad it properly. Drape it properly. You know. And you will see that no other person is like you know that if you wear that attire of confidence. Moreover, my dear students, there's so many good ways to de-stress yourself. So many ways. Time management. You must know how to manage your time. As everyone is, we all are having 24 hours. Everyone, me, you, everyone of us. Now the thing is this, how to manage those 24 hours. That kind of a skill everyone should have. There's no problem in that. We should know the ways, we should know the methods of taming our time, of domesticating our time. Don't allow the time to monitor you. Don't allow the time to force you. You should force, you should be the boss. You should know how to manage my 24 hours, how to divide my time into chunks. You know, dear students, there are other problems also. You know, especially during exams, before exams, you know. And the problem is about the syllabus. 
The problem is about man, how to cope up with the difficult subjects also, even. Of course, I will come to you to ask questions, I know. There are many students, you know, it's still raising their hands, man, I want to ask something. Of course, I will definitely come to you also. So it is about the difficult subjects also. Of course, all the subjects, whether they are from science history, whether they are from humanities, whether they are from commerce background, there is one or the other subject which a child feels, yes, I have difficulty in this. There are ways of doing, I mean, in order to make a difficult subject into an easy subject or a comfortable zone, which I call it. Not an easy, but a comfortable zone where I, can, I should be comfortable enough to, you know, note down my answers, you know, while I'm in the, I means you all. Okay? So we should have that also. Dear students, this Pariksha Pe Charcha is not only for the students, it is for the teachers as well, it is for the parents as well. So your parents can also take help from this. We teachers also take help from this. Of course we do. And uh, of course, you know, we impart it back to you. And uh, no doubt, we see the result, the positive results which we see. Now we are doing this only. As you can see, the impact of it. Your parents can also take help from this. Now let me come back to you. Let me have few questions. So if you have any question, you can ask me. Yes, Rana. Good afternoon, ma'am. So my question is for you is that, ma'am, I always prepare myself for the exams. But as soon as I thought to, of entering into the examination hall, fear creeps into my spinal. Ma'am, how to deal with this problem? Good question. Well, fear. Why do you allow this fear to into your mind? Into your spine, which you call it as now. Yeah. So why do you say so? Because fear is always of the unknown things. You know? So this means you have entered into a wrong zone, into, you know, you maybe the subject, you know, so say for example, if it is a physics exam. And you have no idea about the slippers or just a faint idea, just a faint idea you're having about the slippers or just a faint idea about how to attempt your questions, you know. So, there you will have a fear. That means you're not prepared. You are not an organized person. You have not prepared anything. You don't have any, I mean, you have a lot of doubts about the subject, so you should take help from the subject teacher. As I said, fear, fear is always about the unknown things. So if you have unknown things, if you are unknown to your subject, obviously you will have fear. So in order to, you know, be friendly with fear, you know, it is better that just go and attack that virus. That means just pay attention to your subject, be attentive, focus on your subject, that's the best way. So if you are known to your subject, no fear will be there. And if you are known to your subject, why fear? Every, I mean, you will get upset, you will get disappointments, that anxiety would be there, elevated in a way, you know, so that would be there. So, that is what I want to say. Any other question? Yes, Anshika.
Just take out some time for your activities also. Have a healthy lifestyle. Very important is that also. Healthy lifestyle that means have plenty and plenty of water. You know, have proper. Stay away from junk food. You know, this should also be there. And very important is this, revise your work. You know, and once you will make a study time level, you will see that it will become very easy for you to understand what is the charm or what is the magic of 24 hours. Is that clear? Are you getting me? Yes. Any question? Good afternoon, ma'am. And my question is, during exams and even before exams, there are a lot of distractive elements that disturbs our concentration. Ma'am, please can you tell me how to cope up with this situation? Which one disturbs you the most? Ma'am, for me it's my mobile phone. Just on. Mobile phone. It's like more like a dragon these days. The dragon has come back. Isn't it? So, my dear student, my dear child, let me tell you one thing. If you have decided over here, your mindset, if you have decided in your soul, that yes, you know, like you must think, you must get organized and you must think that yes, I'm ready to devote only one hour for my mobile or for two hours. And it is up to you what content you are watching in that. If you're watching the good content related to your subjects, related to your studies, it's more fine. But if you're watching something else, that is not fine. Is that okay? So in order to stay away from the distractions, be busy with some other activities also. Is that okay? If you love to play badminton, go out and devote some time for that. Have, if you don't try to have some sort of, you know, interest for the outdoor games, even indoor games can also work. Chess is there. Tarim is there. Lura is there. These are the not the outdated games, okay? These are the fashionable games and you can devote your time in that also. Is that okay? So this is up to you. You have to decide here that how much time I have to devote and in what way I have to get, you know, these distractions are always there and it will be there, you know. It will be there, it was there and it is there. So it is up to our mindset. The, you know, listen to motivational videos, read motivational books. This will surely help you all. I'm sure class, I'm sure students that this has helped you a lot. This Pariksha Pe Chaya Chaya. So eagerly waiting for 27th of? Yes. 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 So eagerly waiting for Pariksha Pe Chaya Chaya. 27th of Jan 2023. We all will be attending it together. Thank you so much.